Mm. You cannot be pushed to be trans. You either are or you are not. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the title and this comment right here, I wanted to talk about this because I see it so much online. I see so many people in my comments saying it. A lot of people just don't think that the LGBTQ should be a discussion in schools or people don't think that kids should know about the LGBTQ. Apparently it's an adult conversation and I just wanna break that apart and talk about how I don't agree because it just, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna change the way I start my intro a little bit because of some things I normally say I don't agree with anymore. But if you don't already know, my name's Kyle, AKA Prince Kyle, don't forget it. And I have an Instagram as well as a TikTok where I share my transition and educate anybody that would like to hear about it. I actually have something that I wanted to try in this video. I'm gonna start incorporating some things that either I like to eat or drink or some things that I've never tried before. I don't want anyone to think that my channel is shifting to food reviews because it has nothing to do with my niche, but I do want to just kind of start my videos with trying something or eating something that is like my favorite and kind of let you guys know one out of 10 how much I like it. Today what I have, a foot long chocolate chip cookie, pretzel, and a foot long churro. I got the foot long pretzel and the foot long cookie. The pretzel right there. We got the cookie. Like who, who would actually eat all this by themselves? Actually, I would eat this by myself. I don't even know how to eat this. Y'all better not come for me in the comments like, cause there's no proper way to eat this. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? No, I'm gonna just eat it like this. <gasps> it's kind of tough. Subway cookies, let me know down in the comments, but Subway cookies are better than any cookie out there. Mm. I'm gonna give the pretzel five out of 10. When it's cold, it's pretty tough. And for the cookie, I would give it a, like a 7.5 out of 10. Now to get into the actual video. Do I think children should be educated when it comes to the LGBTQ, transgender people in particular? 110%. I know a lot of people probably think I have a biased opinion because I'm trans myself, but there are an abundance of reasons why the LGBTQ should be taught in school districts, even younger than like 10, eight years old. It's very important. And obviously there's levels to how extensive you should get with it, just the same as there is with sex education. But at the end of the day, these people exist, therefore everyone should be learning about them. Now I'm gonna tell you guys the different reasons as to why it is beneficial to be educating children on the LGBTQ. For one, it's just important to educate kids on everything. And there are trans people all over the place. A child should know what a trans person is, who a trans person is. The whole argument that the internet has is that, oh, well, if you teach children about trans people, they're gonna start thinking they're trans. No, they're not. You cannot think you're trans. You either are or you are not. And the biggest misconception is that people think that you can be taught to be trans. You cannot be taught to be trans. It's not how it works. Being trans is an identity, the same as being cisgender. And I guess an easier way to break it down is when someone is cisgender, meaning their brain aligns with their anatomy, they don't have to think about being cisgender. They're not taught to do it, they just are. And it's the same exact thing for trans people. So me being brought up, I was raised to be cisgender because back then people thought you could be raised to be a certain way. But my mind always was that of the opposite, which was transgender. And I didn't know it yet because no one educated me on it, but I knew something was different about me and I knew I was not cisgender. I just was not educated to understand why I was acting certain ways and doing things certain ways when I was being told that I had to be another way. So the reason it is extremely important to start educating children on transgender people and the LGBTQ in general is because 
I'm sorry to break it to you, but if your kid is transgender, it's not going to take someone educating them to know that they are. They're going to just know. They may not know the terminology, but they know deep down that they are different. So it's not that teaching a seven-year-old what it means to be trans is going to all of a sudden make them confused about their gender. That's not how it works. It's just going to educate them to be like, oh, there's trans people in the world. That's not who I am, but I get it. Like, okay. Or if there is a little seven-year-old who is kind of unsure of their identity and they're being pushed to be a certain way because their anatomy looks like this, but they're thinking, hey, but I feel this way. Don't you think it would be kind of smart to educate them? And they could be like, hmm, this trans thing, that kind of sounds like what I feel. I want to talk to my mom and dad about this and go from there. But when someone is not being educated on something, that's when they believe that something's wrong with them. And that will lead them down a path of a very, very dark future because they feel like they can't go and talk to somebody about it. And that's definitely not okay. Another person commented and said something like, I have no problem with trans people, but I think they should not be educated on it and shouldn't know anything about the LGBTQ until after they're 16. Sweetie, by 16, it's too late. That is setting them up to either fail or do something very, very harmful to themselves. Because again, when they're not educated on something that is completely normal, society just tries to push it under the rug and make it not normal. You're now teaching this child that who they are is wrong and they may not want to stay on earth because they feel like something is wrong with them. So to teach somebody at the age of 16, it's already too late. Like they were, if they are trans, they were trans well before 16. Educating them later in life is not going to change whether or not they are trans or not. Trans is an identity. It is not a career path. It is not a costume. It's not something you decide to do. And I feel like so many people are confused with that. A lot of people still to this day think that being trans is a choice. The only part in trans people that is a choice is your transition, which is why it's called transition. But being trans itself, being transgender, that is not a choice. That is just something that you are born being, just like being cisgender. It is all in your mind. You can't choose that. Someone cannot choose to be trans. You cannot push your child to be trans. You either are or you aren't because it's literally a mental identity. The only part that is a choice and that you can push someone to do is physically transitioning. And I'm not here to say that I agree with that. I don't. I think physically transitioning should come with a certain age when some of the things are not reversible as for top surgery, bottom surgery. As a trans person, I can 100% agree that I don't think it is appropriate for someone as young as six or seven to physically transition surgically. Like nobody's here. Nobody here is saying that trans ally parents are not out here to push their child to be trans their child simply is trans and the parent is simply allowing them to express themselves as they see fit because um any parent that loves their child is not going to push them in a direction that they are not that's just common sense maybe it's just common sense to me but you would think it's common sense for some reason people associate all of the lgbtq just with like the adult nightlife fun and it's not that at all there is drag queens that go to schools and read to them and do very age appropriate things. There are trans people who advocate and do it in very like appropriate ways for schools. It's not this huge nightclub going to show up in a fifth grade classroom telling kids to turn up and be trans. Like, no, it has nothing to do with that. And it blows my mind that like people really think that the LGBTQ is just this huge, this huge sex like environment it's not at all as a trans person myself i don't think who i am is taboo when i walk in public nobody's turning their head like have your children i'm scared like this person is out here shoving stuff down my kid's throat like no people see me and they see a guy in society just doing what he's doing living life and that's all we want to teach kids is that hey you may see this kind of person in public they're trans Life's great. Cool. Great. Got nothing to do with me, but at least I learned about it. At least I know if I see this person, not to be disrespectful, 
and to be an asshole like their parents. <laughs> like it's just teaching the, the younger generation to understand that the world is so complex and full of a variety of different types of people. And it's just teaching the youth to be respectful and not to be douchebags, like in the nicest way possible. And then it's also teaching the kids that are trans, keyword are, meaning are already trans, no one's pushing them to be. They already are. They just don't know it yet because they don't know the word. They don't know what the terminology is. And then when we educate them on that, it brings a whole nother side of peace and it puts together a whole story they didn't even know they needed to be pieced together. If I was told and taught what it meant to be trans at the age of 10, you know how much happier my childhood would have been? Because I would have known who I was with a word. A simple word. I was already trans. No one educated me. No one coerced me. My mom was not the first one to jump up and say, yeah, you want to be a boy? Go ahead. Throw on some guy clothes. Let's just have this surgery, that surgery. I was not pushed to do anything. But guess what? My mind never changed. My mind continued to be transgender. And that's what people don't get. You cannot be pushed to be trans. You either are or you are not. I was pushed very hard to live a cisgender life, a cisgender female life. And guess what? I still knew mentally that I was different. In general, everything I talked about, it has to do with this main comment that was right up here. Just at the end of the day, your gender is something that is found within at a very young age, whether you think it or not, whether your parents think they know you or not, like your gender grows as you grow. And by the age of like seven or eight, you're pretty grounded with who you are. And your parents can try and tell you until they're blue in the face, you'll always be this, you'll always be this, but you know who you are. And trans people in general, we know who we are and you cannot be taught to be trans. So by implementing it in the school system and doing it accordingly by age, obviously there's levels to how in depth you should go. By doing it that way, it will save so many children's lives because they won't feel alone if they are trans. Because again, they already are whether you teach them or not. So the kids that already are trans, it is allowing them to know that it is okay to be gay, lesbian, whatever, straight, cisgender, trans. It's okay to be any of these things. They just need a safe space to know that it's okay to be them. They should not be hidden under the tables and told, oh, you need to wait till you're 16 to learn about this. By then, it may be too late for your child. It's horrible to even say that, but unfortunately, this is why a lot of people in the LGBTQ end up going the route that nobody should take because they feel so alone and feel like their life is taboo because of people like this that leave comments like that and say, I have no problem with trans people. I have no problem with LGBTQ people, but this is a taboo subject and it's not normal and it's gross and they need to wait till they're 16 years old to learn about these adult conversations. It's not an adult conversation. We are normal human beings and we just exist just like you do. Again, make sure you guys try these out. Like they were pretty fire. Um, the pretzel, I dragged it. The pretzel was not too fire, but probably gonna throw that out or let my girlfriend try it. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get to 50,000 subscribers. I think this year we're definitely gonna hit that number and above. I love you guys, stay true, be you. Bye guys.